Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2s. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Jitter video animation tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out his offer just under this video. Let's get started. So, Jitter is a browser based motion design tool that makes creating animations simple and fast. Now, kind of like an easy alternative to after effects so you can import the signs from figma animate them with presets and timelines and export as videos gfs and even lottie so it's great for social media posts ui motion and marketing content plus since it runs in the browser it's super accessible and lets teams collaborate in real time so in this case how do we start using jitter here well you need to first access their official website it's going to be jitter.video now, in here, what we need to do is we want to go and just click on the try for free. You see at the top right of the screen and just continue in what way you want. So you can use your e email address here or you can go and just connect your Google account. Let's go and choose go continue with Google here. But once you've logged in or selected your Google account, it will now welcome you into your account. Let's go and click on continue. Now, in here, let's go and just answer a few things. What describes your, uh, you best, uh, best here? So let's go and choose like, let's say we are developer. Let's go and click on continue. It's going to ask us how will you use Jitter. So let's go choose like maybe I'm a freelancer. And from here, what is your main use case here? So product or marketing, let's go and choose marketing. Now it's going to basically allow you to invite your team member team members here to collaborate with them. But let's go and just click on the skip and I'll invite my team leader. Now from here, you have the option to start from scratch or animate your designs, or you can even browse your templates. Now, if you have like Figma, uh, if uh, you could run the Figma plugin and import your layers in here, or if you want to start from scratch, or if you want to browse your templates. So okay, let's go and choose browse our templates here and see what do they offer. Now in their templates page, there are different categories here that you can choose from like community, new devices, and even logos, and also for social media, depending on what what you need so you also have like for ads video titles icons charts and a lot more so if you want to use one of them you can go and just click on it let's go and click on my files first at the top right and see what it looks like so we are now into our files now if you want to create a new file or if you want to import from figma you can go ahead and go to drafts here and you can go and just create a new file or import from figma now if you choose templates we should be able to see the same thing that we saw before as you can see right now you can go and just see the different categories for templates now you also have the option to change or basically uh, change different workspaces now workspaces are think of them as like rooms or uh let's just say um groups or teams so workspaces are where people work on the same project on the same particular um work style or uh same project so that's the best best idea i could uh, basically describe uh, workspaces here so yeah you can also group your folder or your files here into folders so you can go and click on new folder but in order for you to utilize this you may need to upgrade to jitter studio which is uh, in this case if you're wondering they have studio or enterprise here so studio is like 12 dollars per editor per month which is billed annually so yeah now if you want to invite your members you can go and click on invite members here as you can see you can go and invite them and enter their email addresses also have the workspace settings here if you want to adjust the workspace that you currently have right now now you can adjust the logo the name and also the members for it now you can go and also delete your workspace just in case you're no longer using one workspace so you also have like trash here just in case if you want to see what you just recently deleted but let's go and start creating our file Let's go and choose our templates here so that we could already use one of the existing uh, templates they have. Like, for example, let's go and choose one for video title. And let's go and choose the basic one here for bouncy period. Let's go and press or click on it. Let's open it up. And this is what it looks like. Now, there are different sections or there are different um, elements that we need to understand here. So at the very bottom, this is your timeline. So the timeline here basically describes what uh, the elements are going to happen on your uh, screen, which is at the center of your screen. So as you can see right now, you have the wait for it. You have to drop in, wait for it, and then opacity. So if you click one of them, you should be able to change the length of certain elements here. As you can see right now, you can go and move them around if you want to. And yeah, you can also have the option to play it if you want. But let's go and click on duplicate to edit first so that we could basically edit this. As you can see, we've just duplicated it and we are now ready to edit it. So yeah, so you have the option to move this around as you can see right now. You can even change the length on uh, certain elements here. But you could go and press Ctrl Z if you want to undo certain things. So yeah, 
So the scene here, so by the way, this is uh, what, like what I'm saying before. This is your scene. This is where things happen or how things would actually look like or actually look like. So yeah, it's the left side. This is your scene. So think of this as your layer. So if you, for example, this is our scene. So if you click on the eye icon here, this will actually hide certain elements in your uh, scene here. And basically, that's a way for you to start managing it. But as you can see, this is the wait for it word itself. And here's the dot. So think of them as layers. But how do we start using the tools here and also the animation? Now, this is quite simple versus uh, different uh, other apps that uh, you use to animate things here. So this one is really simple and you're using it. So at the top left here, this is our, your tool. So if you want to add like images or like shapes or text, this is how you do it. So if, for example, we, I want to add like a circular shape here. I could just press on circle. If you want to add like a star, I can just press on the star here. And basically, all, all of those shapes will be automatically added into my uh, scene here, as you can see right now. Now, by the way, if you create a new project, it is required to create a, new, a scene first. So you can go and click on the scene or the add an artboard here in order for you to add your scene. So if you click on artboard here, as you can see, this is our uh, scene. But let's go and just delete this one. And let's go and just scroll, uh, scroll here. Now, by the way, if you are having problems uh, with this one, uh, what you need to do is you just go back here or you access your file. But yeah, so in here, what we need to do is we want to go ahead and just select one of the, let's go go here in the section so we can see it. So yeah, so for example, maybe I want to change like the color for the shape. You could go to design. So instead of animate, you go to design here, press on it, and you can go and just choose the uh, color for this one. Like for example, make this like this color. Now star, let's go and choose a different color. Let's make it maybe yellow. Now this is an example. Obviously, uh, if you want to do a specific design, uh, you could go and do that. But yeah, so for example, we are good with this one. Let's go to animation at the right side. Now, by the way, this is our just a basic so that you could go and get started with uh, using uh, Jitter here. So let's go to animate. Now from here, maybe we don't want to use just the ordinary uh, opacity here. So as you can see, by the way, just to give you some explanation here, this we wait for it, so it masks in. So it just for uh, goes in into your scene and the drop in for the dot. And now we are going to experience the opacity for the uh, wait for it and the dot for opacity. So basically, they fade out. So that's the explanation of the whole uh, animation or what's whatever is happening right now on your screen. But let's go and just delete this two animations here. Let's go and delete this as well as this one. And we want to basically uh, add a different animation. So let's go ahead and just delete those. So in here, maybe I want to add an animation specifically where the wait for it will be go back. Uh, go back. So meaning it's going to be deleted back. So you want to go and just select uh, select the wait for it. Go to animate at your top right here. Click on new animation, and you want to go and just choose whichever you want. So uh, maybe I want to use the option here for let's just excuse it like shrink in so shrink in so in here as you can see it's going to uh go in oh, let's go and go back so let's go and click on the animation it's this is in let's go to out here so there's an in animation out animation so let's go and choose the mask out shrink out yeah so here shrink out and it's going to basically shrink out from existence, as you can see. So if you want to do the same thing for the dot here, go and just select the dot at your scene, click on new animation, go to out again, and choose whichever animation you want, as you can see right now. Now the great thing about this one is you can time uh, the whole thing. Now since we have the dot at the very start here, let's go and just uh, move it a bit to the start so that it's going to be the first one that shrinks out. As you can see here now, it goes in, it's go it goes out the same, the same way as the uh, wait for it section. Now, if you want to add animations like for this one and your circles here, go to the very start, select your star, new animation, go to in, and maybe I want to say spin. And for the circle, I want to go and click on uh, uh, ellipse here. Let's go and click on new animation again, and maybe this is going to be a twist. So yeah. So again, like what I said before, you could go and just uh, rearrange things here. So let's go and move a few things. So let's go and just play it. And we now have an animation for our um, elements here. 
So if you are now good with your animation or whatever you're trying to do here, you can go ahead and click on the export button at the top right here and you can export this into video and whatever quality 480p, 720p, 1080p, and even 4K. But you need to have like pro, a pro plan in order for you to do this. But the best you could do is like, for example, the uh, 720p here if you want. So yeah, so that's about it. So those are the basics to get you started with Jitter and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.